That was fucking predictable, alright? As soon as it went to penalties, you just knew what was happening. It was an accumulation of players not working hard enough, you know, being unlucky, let's face it, we should have had two penalties, but I'm not using that as an excuse. I want to congratulate Middlesbrough, because they were absolutely fantastic defensively. Ayala, I think is how you pronounce it, and also Gibson were unreal. And also, the away supporters, that is the best set of away fans. I have seen it all Trafford, like I've heard. You could hear them, they were drowning out the United supporters and we were the loudest fans last year in the Premier League. So to do that is extraordinary. I know they only had 10,000 fans, but, you know, sorry, they had 10,000 fans, which is a lot more than the usual group of away fans, but they were utterly fantastic. And their team, you know, through the determination and grit, that's, that's what top teams are missing in this competition, with the exception of Man City, who destroyed Palace 5-1, Liverpool winning 1-0 against Bournemouth, you know, that's an alright result, at least they're through, but teams just don't take it seriously enough, alright, I look at our lineup. I was happy with it, alright, because we kind of balanced, it wasn't every single, you know, youngster, but we had a fair amount, and that's fair enough, we need to give them opportunities, but Teams just, in general, don't take this competition seriously. You look at Arsenal getting bad 3-0 off Wednesday. Chelsea losing on penalties. Us losing on penalties. The Premier League just doesn't seem to care about this uh, tournament unless you're a bottom uh, 10 club where, you know, it's a trophy. But I don't understand why. A trophy is a trophy. And I want to win everything. So I was gutted because generally I thought it's at home. All right, we should be able to breeze past this. And we've got a good chance at the competition because we'd be in the quarterfinals. But it's not how it panned out. I mean, we had a blatant handball turned down. I'm not using this as an excuse. It was blatant. I don't care how well you are doing defensively because Ayola was... Insane, I'm pronouncing his name wrong probably, but yeah. Anyway, he was doing amazing, but still, when you blatantly punch the ball, I mean, you've got to give a penalty. No matter how good a performance is, you've got to abide by the rule book. And we didn't get it. And from then on in, we had so many chances in like the space of five minutes. Fellaini had a chance. Martial from six yards out just wide. You know, we were crossing it in. We were shooting for once, which is unheard of. Pereira just wide. And as soon as all these shots didn't go in, I was like, you know, it's going to be one of those games. As soon as it went at penalties, I just thought, we've lost. I mean, the stats came up. Borough have won six out of eight of their premier, uh, of their penalty shootouts. Now they've won seven out of nine. And yeah, they showed desire. They showed determination, which is what we lacked as a team in general. Certain players did show it. Smalling was very good. Um... He had other players who actually showed desire, like Pereira, Fellaini showed a lot as well, Lingard, and then other players who just didn't seem to care much. Now, I'm a huge Memphis fan, but he needs to improve his, his attitude on the pitch. I don't mean, you know, this arrogance. That's brilliant. I mean his work ethic, all right? He's known as a hard worker, yet he isn't tracking back. He isn't doing any of the defensive work, and that isn't what Louis van Gaal likes to see. That isn't what the fans like to see, him just walking around, taking it easy. No, we want to show you know, some desire for the shirt to be playing at Old Trafford, but <sighs> I could drone on for ages, we've had so many chances, Lingard hit the post, Borough had their fair amount of chances, and Romero gave them their best one by fucking miskicking the ball, he made some great saves, but why? I, I don't understand, it it's like Arsenal in the Champions League, why rest your best goalkeeper, why does a goalkeeper need a, a break, alright, if they're available and they're fit, they play, and David De Gea needed to play today, and maybe we could have won the penalties if David De Gea was playing. Romero made some sloppy errors, he did make some decent saves though, so it kind of balances out, but I just don't understand that. Why rest a goalkeeper? There's just no need for it. But anyhow, we're out now, we're out of the cup, which I thought was winnable. It would have been good to win this. I don't care. A trophy is a trophy. I don't understand why these cups are like overwritten. I'm not going to be one of these Belen fans, oh, it's only the Capital One Cup. I don't care about it. Because I do. I care about everything. I want to win everything. I'm sure Manchester United want to win everything, but we just didn't show it on the pitch. So, to be honest, the team that wanted it more won. And that's that's fair enough. I don't care how well we did play towards the end of it. You know, these penalty appeals we didn't get. It was an accumulation of not enough work ethic, a bit of unluckiness, and just the, the team that won wanted it more, and that's essentially what happened. So, yeah, we're out, but we're going to have to fight for the Premier League, the FA Cup and the Champions League. I want us to honestly go full force for all three of them because we really need to, a club of our size, with our vast amount of wealth, we need to do that. And seriously, we need to show more determination in the Premier League, the FA Cup and the Champions League.